Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Um, I am doing the movie reaction slash review for Captain Marvel. I actually saw it last week, but I want to see how well it's going to do this weekend. And it was number one. I uh, made over $160 million domestically, which was crazy because their budget was only... $175 million. <laughs> It says I made $524,524 million worldwide and it literally came out not even a week ago. So that's kind of crazy and kind of awesome. So I'm just going to be doing a brief recap on the movie and then I'll um, tell you what I thought about the movie after. Just in case people haven't been on my channel before. Hi, I'm... And it's Roxanne. Alright, so we start off in 1995 on the Cree Empire capital planet of Hala. Star Force member Verse suffers from recurring nightmares involving an older woman. Yan Rog, Verse's mentor and commander, trains her to control her abilities while the supreme intelligence and artificial intelligence and ruler of the Cree urges her to keep her emotions in check. And so during the mission to rescue an undercover Kree operative infiltrating a group of scrolls who are alien shapeshifters who with whom the Kree are at war with, Verz is captured by scroll commander Talos, taken aboard the earthbound their earthbound vessel and subjected to a memory probe where she sees a bunch of flashbacks and stuff. Verz managed to escape in a pod and crashes in Los Angeles. Her, pre her presence attracts S.H.I.E.L.D. agents Nick Fury and Phil Coulson, which I'm so happy to see in the movie. His investigation is interrupted by a squirrel attack. In the ensuing chase, Verse uh, recovers a crystal containing her extracted memories while Fury kills a squirrel impersonating Coulson. Talos disguised as S.H.I.E.L.D. director Keller orders Fury to work alone in case of other shapeshifters. After Fury says he has found a lead on Verse. Using his security clearance, Fury takes Verse to a classified Pegasus, U.S. Air, Air Force base, in her memories. There she discovers she was an Air Force pilot presumed dead in 1989 after crashing a plane with a experimental engine designed by Dr. Wendy Lawson, who she recognizes as a woman from her nightmares, and also the woman that takes the appearance of uh, when. She goes into the AI, they see a figure from her past, and it's always this woman. And then, led by, okay, so, a S.H.I.E.L.D. team led by Talos disguised as Keller tries to capture them, but the two escape on a small cargo jet with Lawson's cat, Goose, stowing away. They fly to Louisiana to meet former pilot Maria Rambo. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. The last person to see Verse and Lawson alive. Talos arrives at the Rambo home just as Verse discovers her real name is actually Carol Danvers. He reveals that the Skrulls are actually refugees searching for a new home and Lawson was a Cree renegade helping them. He then plays the recovering black box from Lawson's plane, prompting Danvers to regain her memories and remembering the day of the crash. Lawson tries to destroy the engine energy core before she was off by Jan Rog. When Darius destroyed it, she absorbed the energy from the ensuing explosion and became amnesiac. I don't know what that is. Uh, she had amnesia. <laughs> Talos then leads the group to a cloaked lab ship orbiting Earth where several scrolls are hiding and protecting the Tesseract, a source of the energy core. Star Force captures Danvers and brings her in brings her before the Supreme Intelligence. During the conversation, Danvers removes the, a Kree implant that was suppressing her powers, giving her full access to all of her abilities. All of them. And during the subsequent battle, Fury retrieves the Tesseract and Goose, who is revealed to be a Flurkin, an alien uh, with a pocket dimension inside her body. She swallows the tes Tesseract before scratching Fury's left eye and blinding that eye. Danvers destroys the ballistic missile fired by the Kree official Ronan the Accuser, forcing him and his forces to flee, then overpowers Jan Rog on Earth and has him return to Hala with a warning to the Supreme Intelligence. 
Danvers then departs to help the scrolls find a new homeworld, giving Fury a modified pager to con contact her in an emergency. Meanwhile, Fury drafts the initiative aimed at locating heroes like her, changing the name after finding a photo of Danvers in her Air Force jet, which bears the call sign Avenger. And then a mid credit scene set in the present day, the pager which Fury activated prior to his uh, disintegration is monitored by Captain America, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and James Rhodes. And so the, um, Danvers appears and asks, Where, where's Fury? Then in a post credit scene that's in, uh, set in 1995, Goose climbs onto Fury's desk and regurgitates the Tesseract. <laughs> So anyway, and that was in the movie. Okay, this movie was freaking amazing. I literally give this movie a A. It was a touch flat in terms of action towards the end. But I feel like overall just of the movie was really, really good. And I feel like the fight scenes were great. There's just the whole nostalgia feel nostalgic feel of the movie was fantastic. I mean, she landed in a blockbuster. That is about as 90s as you can get in the like 80s and 90s. That was, I was like, that was cool. And the whole fight scene, especially with the old lady, that was really a scroll. That was hysterical. I love that. The whole fight scene was fantastic. And um, I like the action sequences where they um, fused in a bunch of music. Like they played Gwen Stefani, or No Doubt. Sorry, no doubts. I think it was like just a girl in the battle scene on the lab. So that was pretty cool. Um, when she got her full abilities. And the th it's just everything about this movie was really, really good. Like I said, it could have been a little bit more action towards the end. But I feel like we got more information. And the whole, the mid credit scene was a bonkers. I loved it. The fact that, you know... Captain America and Black Widow did not even hear her come up was crazy. She's like, where's Fury? Because um, basically they did the pager and I don't know if they were still doing it or not, but the pager died or stopped transmitting. And so they were looking and like, whatever you do, we've got to keep this charge and keep the signal going. And they turned around and said, oh, hi. <laughs> so um, I really, really enjoyed that a lot. Uh, the movie itself, like I said, just had Phil Coulson back. That was a whole thing. That was su super cool. And how Fury was really laid back in this movie. Like, really laid back. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought that was amazing. You know, we get to see him be like, he was really, I guess, green. It was like really new to the situation and you know, he was kind of like, I don't know, he was like on another level of like, he was like funner, more fun than the, than the current Fury that disintegrated. And you know, just how he de dealt with everything, I mean like he, I'm speechless kind of. <laughs> But I really, really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really great. Um, I know there was a ton of backlash because, but for me, I can separate the movie from the actor or actresses. And because, you know, there's been a whole thing online about it. Um, I don't really pay attention to it. You know, it is what it is. But to me, I just, I enjoyed the movie. I thought Brie Larson did great. And, you know, it was a super fun movie. And I liked the flashbacks, like, she never gave up. She kept trying. Like, when she got her memories back, you know, this is what propels her forward. This is what helps her out. So, I do like that a lot. So, I thought that was... I just thought it was a great movie. Uh, I might even see it again. It was super fun. I really loved it. The music in there was amazing. Um, so, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Anyway. That's what I did for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of a movie. Do you agree? Disagree? I know I'm super behind. I'm actually meant to do this last Friday. Hey, it's actually Salt Friday, but um, I've been sick a little bit and just a bunch of other stuff happened and I'm getting to it now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Like I said, tell me what you think down there. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. 
And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.